Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to use system diagnostic discovery services in Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services. In previous video, we have uh, done the installation of system diagnostic discovery services. And in this video, we're going to use uh, system diagnostic discovery services in order to create a system diagnostic report for us and upload uh, on Lifecycle Services. So we're going to go ahead. This is my server where I have installed uh, Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services System Discovery. So we're going to go ahead, right click. This is important. Right click and run as administrator. And here is a, a, light, a nice little interface. So the first option we have is environment name. So you wanted to go ahead and name your environment. I'm going to do LCS demo underscore. This is my dev server. And the second option for us is uh, server name. Keep in mind, this is a SQL Server machine name. Uh, wherever your SQL Server is residing, that machine name needs to be here. In my case, let me show you. This is my TBS SQL. That is my machine name. And this is the SQL Server instance that's holding Microsoft Dynamics AX database right here. Couple things I wanted to mention here that uh, if you have multiple instances of SQL Server running on this particular server, you might run into an issue if you don't have this instance running on 1433. And if you have multiple uh, instances running, uh, you need to uh, basically have your browser services running so that it can point to right server uh, in the right database. So the port needs to be 1433 if your uh, SQL, if it if you see any issue, if you see the issue that you're not connecting with SQL Server um, using that particular tool, then please check that if port is 1433. And if it's not 1433, you need to have your SQL Server browser services running. I thought that I mentioned it because a lot of folks are running into this particular issue. So we're going to go ahead and put our SQL Server machine name here. In my case, it's uh, Tech Brothers SQL. So database name is going to be Microsoft Dynamics AX database. So we're going to go ahead, make sure that we don't make any mistake while typing it. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, uh, copy and paste. So we're going to go ahead and copy and paste. And next thing, what we would like to do is discover environment click on that and as you can see that it has discovered the environment what it did back behind the scene it went to the SQL Server machine and it diagnostic it, it diagno uh, diagnosed that this SQL Server has a SQL Server um, data uh, Microsoft Dynamics database right here and it went ahead and connected with SQL Server and got the information from Microsoft Dynamics AX database so uh, let's quickly go through the information right here is Dynamics AX and host name of SQL Server is TBS SQL and up here is Microsoft Dynamics AX database name and I do have a report uh, running that is connected with Microsoft Dynamics AX and right here is the SQL Server instance name, the host name, and I do have analysis services running on there. And right here is um, TB, uh, Tech, Tech Brothers Dynamics AX environment. This is my AOS, as you can see right here. So after we do that, what we need to do is click on Upload Environment. Uh, upload Environment is going to upload this environment information onto Lifecycle Services. And once this is completed, we'll go ahead on um, Lifecycle Services and make sure that environment does exist. So we're going to go ahead and click on Upload Environment. It's going to take a little bit of time and environment data uploaded successfully. Let's make sure that it is in our project. So we're going to go ahead. This is the project that I'm connected to. So we're going to go ahead in the particular project, System Diagnostics. And we're going to go ahead, go in environment right here. And as you can see, the environment is uploaded. If you expand this, this, this is the same information that our diagnostic actually showed us. So it's LCS demo underscore dev. Environment is uploaded. So that is good. 
we're going to go ahead and reload our environment right here it disappeared everything as you can see but if you right cl if you click on this little arrow and reload this lcs demo underscore dev it's going to bring all the information back and then next step is test permission a couple things i wanted to mention in here uh the sql uh, the serp um Username that I'm using the system diagnostic services are running under that account. That is my business connector um, um, Account so what do you want to make sure that if you t click on test permission if this is not the recommendation is that that particular user uh, should be a business connector on your uh, Microsoft Dynamics AX environment if it is not this test permission is going to fail for you because the rec even though it's a recommendation you can skip this step and go ahead and click on collect data now but if you wanted to really test everything you need to make sure that um, it is let me show you where the business connector information is so i'm going to go ahead and this is my microsoft dynamics ax 2012 r2 so i'm going to open the client and i'm quickly going to show you that where business connector information is and go in the system and if you look at system service account so if your account that you're using in uh, system diagnostic and if that account is not this account it is going to throw an error for you when you click on test permission so just make sure that you use the same account if you wanted to see that successful this is just recommendation it's not a mandatory step you can skip test permission and go to the collect now uh, a tab so I just wanted to make sure that you quickly know where the business connector information needs to be so we're gonna go come back here and I'm going to uh, click on test permission it's going to take a couple minutes for for me and uh, we'll come back with the success or failure As you can see, it says collector tested successfully. It, it what it did back behind the scene, it checked the permission on AOS and it checked the permission on um, a SQL Server. So there are certain permissions if you wanted to know exactly what permission on SQL Server and what exactly permission on AOS it needs for this system diagnostic process to work. Please go on Microsoft website. They have put a detailed uh, answer to that question and uh, you can go ahead and configure specific permissions if you need to do that. But um, for me, I have uh, uh, this account sysadmin on SQL Server and admin on my um, AOS instance. So that's why, uh, and also it's a business connector um, account that's why the collector tested successfully everything went all right so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and now since I have done one two three next my next target is to collect now once you click on collect now it will collect all the information from SQL Server and AOS and it will upload all that information on lifecycle services keep in mind it depends how long it's gonna take it depends on your uh, environment if your environment AX environment is pretty big and it needs to collect information it may take a couple hours it may take hours but um, up here for me it's gonna take 10 to uh, 5 to 10 minutes because um, my environment is not all that big uh, this is just for the demo purposes so I'm going to go ahead and collect uh, click on collect now okay the collection started you need to click OK and it'll gray out in a second as you can see now engine started collecting all the information and started uploading on lifecycle services and uh, I'll go ahead and pause the video and once the collection is completed uh, we will uh, I'll come back and uh, we'll go through the quickly the report so up here go back to your um, lifecycle environment and go to system diagnostic again and up here if you need to know that whether it has completed or not you need to click on job and up here the status it will show that it has completed you can click on collector and job no job is available for this project at this moment so uh, you can check back in five minutes ten minutes uh, the job will start and um, we will um, 
you know from from there we will know the status whether it's completed or not since it's just started it might not have the correct information right now so we'll check back in about 10 minutes and see our job has started or not all right um, as you can see the job is completed up here it didn't take uh, for me it didn't take more than five minutes believe me but uh, again the timing that how long this uh, job takes it depends on your environment so now uh, everything is completed as far as um, the job concern so we're, our report is ready to look at it first we're gonna go ahead and click on dashboard and dashboard is a quick overview of our uh, environment if you can see right here and messages are related to if there are messages up here uh, failed you can choose failed messages passed rule ignored uh, result unknown you can check that here and environment is our LCS demo underscore right here this is the this is our environment that it collected information for us jobs again job is completed if it fails it'll show right here that it's completed or its status has failed the collector that we ran because you can run multiple collectors right here is our um, collector information and click on report and it'll give us nice report as you can see this report has awesome information so you can share this report with AOS admin and SQL Server admin and whoever is concerned about this report you can send that report and they can go through and look at the recommendation uh, and uh, resolve all the errors that that is there in their particular environment so this is how you uh, step by step use Microsoft Dynamics uh, system diagnostic tool to collect the information about your Microsoft Dynamics AX environment and I hope it helps